are created by aliens. The world is seething with hundreds of legends on extraterrestrial origin of the human race. For thousands of years, year in and year out, humans have believed in the existence of a certain deity that breathed life into a cold and empty space. The emergence and development of science has considerably reduced the number of followers that the theory of divine origin used to have. At the same time, not everybody would readily consider oneself to have evolved from apes. So, who are we and where do we come from? Scientists keep investigating how the universe emerged, but all they get is new questions rather than answers. Still, even scientific facts occasionally lead us to believe that all forms of life on the planet were created by some higher intelligence capable of overcoming cosmic distances and seeding the entire universe with life. That results in numerous theories, each of which has the right to exist. Life could not have sprung into being out of nothing. Just think, our planet had to be located at a certain distance from the sun, have an atmosphere to protect its surface from radioactivity, and develop a favorable environment for living organisms. Some will surely claim it to be pure coincidence. But do you believe in coincidences, in the well-ordered and consistent work of the universe, some of whose mysteries still remain unsolved? According to the directed panspermia theory by Francis Crick, life originated on another planet and was deliberately transported to the Earth. Before Francis Crick, it was commonly believed that life on our planet could begin by chance, as a result of a collision with an asteroid or a comet inhabited by living microorganisms. In July 2013, Milton Wainwright announced his discovery of the true seed of life. After launching a weather balloon over England, he found a tiny metal ball the width of a human hair. Its outer shell was made from titanium and vanadium, while inside there was biological fungus-like substance. Sure enough, after his discovery, Milton was showered with skepticism and criticism. But was he so downright wrong? Just one more fact. Only 3% of our DNA makes up 22,000 genes of a human genome. The other 97% is often dismissed as genetic junk. Though, as a matter of fact, this junk may contain a coded message from the extraterrestrial creator. The question is when we'll manage to decipher it and whether we are capable of doing it at all. In 2003, the Swedish philosopher Nick Bostrom voiced the idea that the universe can be no more than a computer simulation, which has more recently been shared by Elon Musk. We can assume that we're living in a simulation, that the entire world around us is a mere hologram, and the reality we see is but a picture recreated by our brain. If that is so, there has to be somebody responsible for the simulation. Some higher creatures or creature. Some scientists believe that we can discover it if we manage to determine the boundaries of the universe. We can't state for sure that matter has the shape and appearance in which we see it, and that after death the human lives on or ceases to exist. Likewise, we can't possibly toss aside the idea that somewhere far away, amidst the cold and lonely shimmering stars, maybe even in some parallel universe, there exist those who granted us the possibility to live on this beautiful planet, even if that is merely an illusion. Let us know what you think about it. Could any extraterrestrial creatures have seeded our planet with life? If you enjoyed watching our video, push the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching us, guys.